Hello everyone and welcome to another Live 2D tutorial. This one will be about introducing the animation timeline. So we have our rig right here, all rigged up to the way we want it to be. But the great feature about Live 2D is that you can not only make face rigs, but you can also make animations. Now these animations can also play out on your face rig, for one, because you have something called special actions and effectively special actions are all about creating temporary animations for your character to play out. We'll go into that a little bit later on as to how to make that work for face rig but you can have lots of really cool little animations for your face rig on a press of a button basically and it's just really quite an awesome way of adding more life to your character. We won't be able to do it with this one but you can make little animations where your character face rig is waving, maybe they're blushing about something. You can really bring them to life. So to get into it, all we have to do is go up here. That says model in the corner. Click on it and it will give you a few options. Just go for animation. And now it will take you to another window. Here you have your face rig right here called the project window but you can also bring up your parts and your deformers here too but I wouldn't touch those really or this window in general it's not too important because if you have your face rig already rigged up you don't really need to be touching these and I would say it's good practice not to touch these while you're in the animation window anyway this is the scene window so this is where you can make a new scene for your animation. How it works in this software is that you need to make multiple clips for each animation that you plan to have for your face rig. If you were just doing animations and you wanted to make multiple scenes, this is also the same thing. You'd have to literally go on create a new scene and you can make multiple scenes and sequences if you wanted to. The thing I will say, and I'm not too 100% on, is stuff like if you wanted to link scenes together and make one video out of it. I'm not 100% on that one yet, but as far as face rig goes, you need individual clips for every little animation you intend to have for your character. So in this case, you've got the inspector, you can't really see anything at the minute, but once we click this, if we go into create a new scene, Make sure that SDK is selected. We now have the timeline working as it should and we now have something in the inspector window. This is where you can name your scene. So we can call this say for example Happy Jelly. And as you, you can tell, it's renamed the clip for you there too. I'm not quite sure what the tags are for, but you can also change your resolution size here. So you can make it 1080p or 720, it defaults at 720p. And you can also edit the duration of your animation as well. But the good thing about this is, is that if you wanted to extend the duration of your animation elsewhere, because we all know that we're not 100% sure if we're going to ever do uh, a three second animation. You can actually extend it here. And as you can see, the number is actually going up here. So if you extend this little gray bar here, whatever time you want it to be. So say, for example, you want it five seconds. You can bring it to five seconds there and you can drag this along too. So to introduce you, this is the main scene where your animation is going to be playing. If we want our face rig to be in the scene, we have to click on our face rig here and drag our face rig into the timeline. And there you go, it's right there. You can also adjust the timeline window to how you see fit by clicking and dragging. If we want to also resize our character, we can to fit the current dimensions. All you have to do is Press shift so you can keep it uniform in size and then drag. There you go. The thing is though, when you're doing face rig related animation, this actually doesn't matter, believe it or not, uh, how big or small your face rig is. It will 
just register all the movements as it should. But if you're wanting to make a GIF, an animated GIF, or uh, an animated video of your character, then you definitely have to have it within the box. But it's kind of a cool thing to know, but at the same time, I personally think it's a little bit distracting not having it inside the, the main scene area. So now we have the face rig in the scene as we want it to be here. And this is where all our toggles are. The live 2D parameters are here, so you can animate to that in the timeline. You got something called live 2D parts visibility. It lowers the opacity of select parts on your face rig. And I guess what's happened here is that they've simplified it for you. Uh, like for, for example, if you wanted to lower the opacity of your eyes, you can, as you can see there on the scene. I guess it's a nice little thing to do if you're looking to um, fade out anything. And then we got something called placement and transparency. This is cool if you want to make your characters move position on the scene itself. So for example, we have something called position here. If we just drag this along the timeline, we can make our character move down and right or left, whichever way you want. And you can see that there's an animation that's been formed here. When you mess around with these values, I will say, be prepared that you do have a keyframe made automatically for it. You can delete these keyframes if you want to by just clicking on it and pressing the delete key. So we've introduced that. What's this blue bar here? Well, if we minimize this, it might be a little bit easier to understand. This meter here is the visibility of your face rig. Say for example, we were to move up like that, you can see that the face rig is no longer there in this part of the timeline. So to fix that, all you have to do is just extend it, extend the blue meter or the uh, the blue line to however many seconds you want. And as you can see, it's still visible. Now to get back to this orange bar here at the top, this has a lot to do with temporarily cropping your sequence of animation so that you can then preview it to say, in this case, we've just lowered it down to one second of preview. So if we go on play here, you can see that it's looping to this cropped time frame. And just to emphasize it a little bit more, let's bring it to two seconds, press play, and it will be cropped for the preview at two seconds. This can be handy if you're just looking to test out a bit of animation at some point in the timeline without having to trail through your entire animation in the timeline from scratch. So it's quite useful if you're just very quickly wanting to make sure that a part of the animation works without having to trail through the entirety of the animation. So again, let's just put this back and to refer back to this. This is your duration of your animation. And this is great because you don't have to decide right away exactly how long your animation is going to be. If you if your animation ends up being longer than you intended, all you have to do is just extend it out like that. And you can then extend the blue bar so that the visibility of your face rig lasts for five seconds. I think good practice is to put your face rig visibility just beyond five seconds a little bit as you can see it's kind of in the gray area that means you won't end up with like a, a white frame at the end of your animation all you have to do is just put it over and it will clip it there and then all you have to do is do the same with this as well however you want to extend it good practice is to fill it up to the timeline until you need it and yeah that was the introduction I think we pretty much covered the basics, but generally speaking, this is an introduction to the main timeline. I hope this has been helpful to get a, a bit of an understanding of how that works. In the next video, we're going to go right into trying to animate this little guy. We're going to make a simple animation. So I hope to see you all then, guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content in the future like this. With that, I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.